Hi everybody. Um, well, um, I will share with you some experiences about uh, uh, activities that are taking place um, nowadays in, in Cuba and also related with the Debian project. So, who am I? I am um, Jonathan Bustillos Osornio, um, Hatan also. Um, I am a Debian contributor and Debian user since 2008. And I have been helping in some teams like PodFCOM templates, translations in the Debian Spanish translation team since 2011, uh, uh, 2011 and in Debian reproducible builds in 2017. Well, in, in Cuba, there is a community of free software users and developers who have been working on different activities and useful developments to extend the use of Debian and other free software projects through the country. Um, the first group that we have is the GUTL, the Free Technologies User Group, uh, in Spanish, Grupo de Usuarios de Tecnologías Libres. It's an organization in Cuba since the development of the new Linux users communities of the whole country. It pushes uh, the usage of free technologies, organizing events, workshops, courses, and many more activities of social impact with free software. Um, some of these events uh, are like the Free, do free Document Day, um, related with LibreOffice, and these are the um, pictures of the event. Uh, also the FLISOL, the Latin American um, Festival of uh, Free Software Installation. Um, also, um, a recreation activities. And, well, um, all the U G UTL um, has a website in which they um, publish um, many articles or news related um, with Debian and another free software projects. Well, the UTL was born in 2000, uh, 2009, and since then it has been one of the most influential organizations in Cuba to learn, use, and share free software, hardware, and knowledge. Um, the main work objectives of this organization are uh, technological sovereignty, social control, socialization of information, project development, international visibility for Cuba in the field of free, sof free software and free technologies. Um, now we will um, know about some free software projects and its achievements. Um, um, the UTL uh, group has created a, a repository called Repo Gutul or Repo G UTL, which is an implementation of something called the Cuban Search Force by their uh, developers and users, where free software developers have the opportunity to publicize their creations and get feedback promoting the migration and use of free software to Cuban users. Um, this is the, uh, the system um, in which um, you could uh, find on in this website. Um, the repository generated with a Cuban uh, free software program and call it at Alfidi is structured in two major categories. Um, these are applications and products with subcategories under them. And they, they include the title of the application, the author, contacts, it is desired by the creator, size, a brief description, and a long description in addition to the instructions of installation. Um, they are the main developers of uh, Repo Google and maintainers, uh, Michael Enrique Perniamatos and Delio Orozco Gonzalez. Also, we have um, a free software project um, called MISOX. 
Uh, MISOX is a set of free software applications developed by Michael Pernia Matos, Delio Orozco Gonzalez, and Alberto Miguel Nuevo Rojo in the province of Manzanillo Granma in, in Cuba under the new GPL license and also packages uh, as dot .dev for our Debian um, distribution with the purpose of help helping computer users to create a customization of Debian new Linux, adjusting it to their necessities in an easy and well uh, integrated environment. Um, these are some um, screenshots of the, of the program. Its it main purpose is to, to facilitate to, to some uh, computer user um, the customization of a Debian new Linux operating system um, to put the packages that the user wants, uh, to set um, the graphical uh, desired interface like some Dexter environment with GNOME, KDE, or some Windows Manager like um, Fluxbox, um, Awesome, um, i3 and also uh, it offers the possibility to to add uh, individual Debian packages um, from an external source. Um, there is another project called Videomorph which is a gig wrapper for FMPG based on code from Python video converter and presets idea from QWinFF and multi-converter, developed by Oscar L. Garcel and Leodadis Pozo Ramos and Leonel Salazar Videox in Holguín, Cuba. And this is a screenshot. Um, the main goal of Videomorph is um, to focus on a single um, Propose making video conversion simple with an easy to use GUI and uh, allowing the user to convert to the currently most popular video formats. And this, these are um, the colleagues that are working on, on the group of uh, U UTL in Olguin. And they also organize activities uh, um, to talk about. Um, uh, some free software community or present some program to to their users and they have also created uh, a website called Debian New Linux in Olguin that is Debian HLG and in this website they, they publish um, news related to Debian um, events that I are organized in, in this part of the, of the Far East of Cuba, in, in Olguin. And it's a very nice um, way to stay in contact with the, with the local users. Um, some achievements of, of the UTL group is um, that in Olguin is one of the most ac uh, active communities in Cuba because they are uh, a lot of, of members and they have the support uh, of the University of Olguin for some activities. Um, we have also an official member of the, the Document Foundation, that is Carlos Parra Saldivar, and he is working with LibreOffice um, community directly. Uh, also, there are four free software active developers um, there are two programs in development and, and two active repositories in, in GitHub. Um, besides this, um, uh, we have three websites with international visibility like Debian in Olguin, and Python Scouts, and LibreOffice um, Kubaba. Um, and in sometimes um, the Olguin Free Software Community has a space to talk about free technologies at a TV program of Cuba called A Buen Tiempo, that is something like On Good Time. Um, 
By other hand, we have uh, a lot of activity in the Grama, Grama province, that is also in the in the east of of Cuba. Um, this is the place in which more free software projects have been developed in the island. Also, RepoGoodul was hosted here until some months ago because now the the organization that was supported uh, supported the, the the group it, uh, it is not allow anymore to to give the the, the hosting because institutional um, restrictions uh, many programs in development um, also there are uh, one good UTL website editor and there are there is a free software active developer. Um, in Santiago de Cuba, also we have a um, UTL web website editor. Um, they have created a blog called SWLX, that is a, we um, a web blog related to free software activities. And there are a free software active developer. Okay, so now, I will talk about some um, events that has been um, taking place during the last um, two years. This is the CubaConf, that is the Free Technologies Cuban Conference. CubaConf is an international conference about free software and open technologies that have been taking place in Havana, Cuba, since 2016. And CubaConf is a meeting from the international community of enthusiasts of um, many parts of the world, besides the Cuban local communities, peer-to-peer uh, -peer focused and collective development. It seeks the participation of people with different profiles and diverse um, geographical locations. Um, these are two pictures from the first CubaConf that was on two 2016. Um, we have here the, the last that was on November of last, last year. And we, we had the opportunity to, to have some Debian developers, um, for instance, in 2016, uh, Tiago. Bartoletto, um, Untiasa, the Tiasa Camoes, uh, Tasia, yeah, thank you. Tasia went to to CubaConf and they they pushed it to to create um, with Leonel Salazar, uh, a, a Cuban um, free software developer, to 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 organize for the first time the Mini DevConf in in, in Cuba. Um, from the organization of the conference, it is uh, aimed at the diversity of topics and projects as of its participants, so the participation of women, minority groups in these activities is crucial to build new inclusive spaces of knowledge and dialogue about technology. The main idea is to know people, experience and organizations who work with, with and in free software with all hardware technologies and little or slow bandwidth. And to talk about how free software can help developing countries. So even dur during the, the last CubaConf, um, we had a, a great um, number of, of, of girls um, participating with, with talks and even attending the the event and that was very motivating. We also um, had a, a talk of Molly de Blanc from the Free Software Foundation, and she she did a, a very nice um, presentation. Um, and this is the the groupal photo from last year. So yes. Uh, now I will talk about the Mini DevConf. In, in during CubaConf 2016, um, this encounter between um, Tasia, Tasia and Tiago with Leonel 
um, had has pushed it to to organize for the first time a uh, mini defcom in in Cuba, and this this colleague is uh, Leonel Salazar Vidiox, and he is one of the founders of UTL and Debian New Linux in Olguin. Uh, he is a free software user since since 2004. Uh, first time using Debian New Linux was with Sarge. Um, and he has been uh, spreading the Debian project in local communities in Cuba and organizing events as mini DevConf and his programmer as profession. Um, so during um, last mini DevConf, we we had some um, some topics like um, how about to help the Debian project from from Cuba. Um, the, the the Cuban community share shared two main projects that were Misox and Videomorph. Um, their developers um, show it how how is uh, development the 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 programs and how how to use it. Also, uh, I had the opportunity to 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 present a talk about uh, reproducible builds for first time in Spanish. And it was very uh, useful to attract um, to new um, Debian enthusiast um, users, and also to the currently developers like Michael and um, Oscar from Videomore and Misox. It, it, it was a, a new topic to uh, start um, taking care with the principles of reproducible reproducible builds in the construction of the new versions for their uh, development developments with Misox and Videomorph. So much of this work has been carried out by enthusiastic and committed people with Debian and the free software movement that despite the different difficulties to sustain some cost economically access the internet, acquire computer hardware, and achieve official recognition as developer of some free software community in the world, due to all the, the above, they continue to contribute in a decisive way projects that should be available to everyone inside and outside of Cuba. Because, um, for instance, a Misox project, Videomorph, um, and many other programs that are hosted in the repo Gutul uh, by the limitations of um, hardware, money, uh, are available just to the to the to the Cuban um, users. So, in in that in that in that way, I I consider that it could be very um, interesting and important to think about how the, the Debian project uh, could support and recognize those who contribute directly to the use and development of our distribution in places where there, are, there is the willingness to do so and strengthen our community by being inclusive of them because um, we know that we have a Debian um, social contract, we have our guidelines, but how can we how can we consider um, to those that are in in a country in which uh, all of you you could connect to the internet, but it's very expensive, and if you want to to interact by the mailing list or you want to stay in contact with another Debian maintainers or Debian developers. It is not so easy because you, you sim simply you, you don't have the the, the conditions. So I, I want to I want to set the, the question to to, to have a, a, a dialogue and and, and to, to see what do you think what what which possibilities are since the Debian project to support, for instance, uh, the Misox development that is uh, based on Debian and even the packages could be in the, in the repositories, in the free section. And um, 
well, that is, that is all. And thank you very much for, for your attention. Any comments or questions? Now it is on. Yeah. Um, the MESOX uh, distribution is. Is it registered with the derivatives census? Do, do you know if they already collaborate with Debian in, in that way? Uh, that's no. just a, a, a first thing that comes to my mind. Ah, yes, uh, no, the MISOX development is driving just by, by the local developers in Cuba, by Michael, Delio, and Alberto, but they have not uh, done contact with some um, Debian developers outside, outside Cuba. Then, then that would be my my first suggestion is for them to 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 just inform Debian in a in a relatively formalized way what it is they are doing, how it derives from Debian, how is it different. Uh, that is a helpful thing for me, and I believe also for others in Debian and, and outside of Debian to to compare and then get inspiration of what would be in, interesting to. Piggy, piggy back, uh, uh, cherry pick, uh, put into Debian, and uh, what would be important to to coordinate. So the very ex uh, reference of they exist in a more formal way. It's not uh, a lot of work. It's just a wiki page uh, to to inform who to contact, how to contact. I remember once looking at Misox web page and trying to navigate, and I I was lost in in locating who should I even contact. Uh, how uh, is it structured? And that's partly, of course, because I don't understand Spanish. Uh, so that helps. That, that's that's one barrier for me personally. Um, but but there could be other things also. And how do, how how do they put the information for their own users? How how to present it for for Debian collaborators? Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Anybody else? Why is it? I uh, just want to ask uh, how are you yourself related to, to the Cuban community? Uh, I just um, I just been in contact with um, some um, developers like uh, Lionel, Michael, Delio, uh, because the, the Cuba Conf and the Minidev Conf, and I just um, have this knowledge, but. Mo beyond than this, um, I, I I don't I don't know if there are even more more projects that are in the underground more than than this. So yes, um, this is the only contact that I have with the Cuban developers of free software. Um, could you, do you know, or can you tell a little more, a more about the kinds of barriers that are, I uh, understand the, the one of, it is expensive, so technically possible to get online, but very expensive, ah, okay. but are there other kinds of barriers? Is there, is there a wall like in China or what, what kind of barriers is there for the developers in Cuba to collaborate uh, with others in, in Debian? Okay. In my opinion, I, I consider that the main barrier is to to pay to connect to internet, because you know in free software movement, all, always uh, the connection to a network has been very important to 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 stay in, in touch with another um, developers or interested users. So in the case of in Cuba, um, they have an intranet, but if they want to to socialize their programs outside the, the island, um, 
is is a matter of of to pay, mm, for instance, five cook that is more or less um, four euro po per five hours of internet, and not always the connection is is good because you you need to to go to public parks or you need to go to some um, uh, uh, monument or mm, a, a public place in which there, there are access points and then you, you, you use your card and, and try to get an IP but this, this is really hard and sometimes you, you could wait until 20-25 minutes because there are a lot of people with uh, smartphones or um, smaller devices and even if you are even in my personal uh, situation when i was in cuba i, I tried to connect to, to the to the network and i delay around 35 40 minutes to get an ip to my to my computer so in the first this is the main obstacle to to cool communicate uh, with another people outside using internet um, by other hand, the hardware, because uh, the, the, the weather conditions in Cuba is, is, very, is very hot, so, uh, and they do not have um, air conditioning systems to maintain um, um, community projects or self-driven self um, um, servers, unless you, you are working in some um, institution or in the government or in the in a university maybe you could you could have a chance to host your 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 project in, in in a local computer and then use a public IP maybe but if you you are not working in in these fields of of, of the technology in, in Cuba it's very hard if you are an independent user and you you just want to contribute and um let 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 it know to more people um about your project um you need to to uh, to connect to the network and you need to pay also because internet is not is not uh, money is not money free in, in cuba um i was also thinking in like the, the kinds of tools so if you know or if you noticed uh, that so is it uh, like a does it feel, from the perspective of Cubans, does it feel asocial for Debian developers to be hanging out on IRC, so they need to be on real online, uh, or is it? So, do they? Would it be more beneficial to them if some of us, us is uh, using mail more, or mailing list more, or IRC more, or forums more? Would is there some patterns you have noticed in the styles of communication that could be mm. helpful for this kind of barriers? Yes, I, I think that if that would be possible, if the Cuban developers could uh, at least use IRC and communicate with some Debian maintainers or developers, maybe will will be a, a interchange of knowledge, or they could be uh, they could learn more from 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 you. And also, you, you could um, take their their packages into uh, some GitLab server, or you could be uh, some kind of sponsor of Debian sponsor to to be um, to yes to to, to be um, public to to, to cool, um, um allow the the public access outside of Cuba this software. For instance, Misox or another one from from Repogutl, and maybe you could you could help in that way. But but the the, the, the Cuban the Cuban developer needs to to connect to the network to to could be in constant communication. You know. Um, what is the best place to learn about events in? Debian related events in Cuba in case I have any way over the Atlantic and I think, oh, could I pa uh, pass by Cuba? And second question, do you know uh, whether there are any problems to 
go to the US via Cuba or going from the US to Cuba and then back to Europe? Uh, I, I think um, there are some restrictions uh, for United States citizens to visit Cuba un, 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 unless you, you argument some research or education um, causes. But if you, if you uh, are coming from Europe, um, it's no problem. I, I think um, there is no restriction uh, for a European citizen or um, Latin, um, Latin American citizens or Asian um, to, to be in Cuba, to, to work with, with technology um, topics with the local people. And how to learn about uh, events? Is there ah. a Cuban mailing list or something like that? Um, not a mailing list, but I there is the uh, Repogutul website that is um, is here. This um, this is the. Um, um, this is the main the main um, group in in which you you could uh, stay um, in contact with the Cuban community and also you 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 you, ca you could write uh, through the contact um, section of the rep of the Google group um, website and. This is a general, the general um, way of communicate with the more active um, Cuban developers. Uh, also, of the uh, the also of the um, some there are some projects that are hosted in in GitHub like VideoMorph. And here are the the contact of some of the developers, but th this is very particular. You you need to know the name of the of the of, of the program because you know in in Repogutul there are more than fifty at least um, different programs. Many of them are developed by by the same guy, but by other hand there are uh, another ones that even doesn't have uh, a Git, GitLab or GitHub server. And in this case, is, um, the better way is to do it by the, the Google tool, the GUTL uh, website to contact with the uh, community of um, the developers of sof free software in, in Cuba. In, in yes, definitely. Any further questions? Yeah. <coughs> um, I'm absolutely not an expert, but I've heard of uh, stories of people building their, their own uh, ad hoc network in uh, countries in which internet is not uh, well connected. Uh, for instance, using uh, the Babel protocol. And mm -hmm. um, would it be possible to to use, to build your own uh, connection to internet using that kind of technology. Ah, okay. This is good to know. Well, I, um, I, I, I have not realized about this. Even well, I, I want to say that I, I, uh, I am not Cuban. I, I uh, yes. So I, I just um, have been to try to help to to our colleagues, but. As you have you have said, um, I, I don't know if they have tried to to use these alternatives, and if it even works. 
but well, it's, it's nice. It's nice to to know it. And thank you. So, any further questions or comments? If not, then let's thank Jason again.